Deep within an ancient forest lived a wise Zen master named Kaido. Renowned for his profound wisdom and inner peace, students journeyed from afar to learn from him. Among them was Hiroshi, a young man struggling to focus in his studies and meditation. His mind was a restless wind, flitting from thought to thought. One day, Hiroshi approached Master Kaido, his voice tinged with frustration. I can't focus, he confessed. My mind wanders endlessly. How can I train it to be still? Master Kaido smiled gently, a smile that seemed to calm the very air. Come, he said, leading Hiroshi out of the temple and into the heart of the forest. They walked in silence until they reached a clear, tranquil pond. Its surface mirrored the clear blue sky and the lush green canopy above. Master Kaido picked up a small pebble and handed it to Hiroshi. Observe the pond, he instructed. How calm and still it is. Now, throw the pebble in. Hiroshi did as instructed. The pebble shattered the water's surface, sending ripples outward until the entire pond was disturbed. The mind is like this pond, Master Kaido explained, his voice soft but profound. When calm, it reflects the world clearly. But when we throw stones of thought into it, ripples form, disturbing its clarity. Hiroshi watched silently as the ripples faded and the pond returned to its serene stillness. Your task, Master Kaido continued, isn't to stop the stones from being thrown. Thoughts will always arise. Instead, learn to let the ripples settle on their own. Don't engage with them, simply observe them as they come and go, then return your focus to the stillness of the pond. Hiroshi pondered these words deeply. In the days that followed, he practiced observing his thoughts like he observed the ripples in the pond, without judgment. Gradually, his mind began to settle on its own accord. Moments of stillness and clarity became more frequent in his meditation. Through Master Kaido's simple yet profound lesson, Hiroshi learned the art of focusing not by force, but by gentle observation and acceptance. He found the tranquility and understanding he had been seeking all along. The story of Hiroshi and Master Kaido offers a timeless lesson on focus and inner peace. 1. Our minds are naturally calm. Just like the pond, our minds possess inherent tranquility and clarity. It's our thoughts and worries that disrupt this peace. 2. Let the ripples settle. Don't try to force thoughts to stop. Observe them without judgment and allow them to come and go like waves on the shore. Peace comes from our response to disturbances, not from their absence. 3. Practice makes progress. Mastery over our minds takes time and dedication. Be patient, persistent, and keep returning to this practice, even when it feels difficult. This story reminds us to face life's challenges with a sense of calm observation and acceptance. By learning to observe our thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them, we can find a deeper sense of peace and focus in our lives. What are your tips for maintaining focus and inner peace? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more inspiring content.